Uh, hello, um, I'm William and welcome to this commentary of uh, doing for all these digital paintings. Um, well here you can see um, I've already started getting into it with uh, a small brush and uh, I'm, um, I'm working, um, working black on, on yellow, on uh, blue. Um, normally I go with a, um, a yellow background but here I've decided to go with blue, something, something a bit different. Um, I'm just at the moment I'm just getting getting the shake down of this figure. Um, I'm looking from photo reference, um, thanks to uh, Pixel Lovely, I, where I get most of my uh, I use it as a great resource. Um, the timer set um, on on these these are uh, as five minutes, so um, I'm. I'm Keeping to a time, it, that makes it more like a, a proper life drawing class. Here we are, these are breasts. Got her breasts, so, um, well, the nipples actually are, are very good in terms of uh, measuring. But, um, nipples and belly buttons, I find, uh, kind of, when, whenever you're doing life drawing, always look full of like nipples, belly buttons. Always great, great for hand, uh, for uh, lining up. I started um, getting the legs in there. Uh, I wasn't too happy with the legs on this actually. They kind of got really messed up. I, I was still quite nervous when, when filming myself painting, but I don't know, it's just one of those things, eh? Like, um, yeah, I was, I'm just, just nervous. A lot of nervous strokes and stuff like that. I guess I'll adjust after a while. Like, I'm, I'm planning to do one of these every day. One video one with commentary every day. But I do a digital painting every day and there's no reason why I can't do a commentary with it as well. So that's my plan, commentary and uh, digital painting every day. <laughs> um, I've had so, I've finished before the line, I'm happy with the line, so I've gone over the tone now. This tone I'm putting in, it's actually the light tone, even though the, the tone I'm I'm putting in actually rather dark. I, I could have gone with a lighter, lighter tone, but it doesn't matter because I can just use the darker tone for the dark area. Uh, I, I, I've increased the brush size so it slides slightly and um, creates more of a, a painty effect rather than that line was, was far more, more drawing. The opacity is set to a hundred percent. I could have probably, I probably should have dropped it down to seventy percent. Um, you see later, I actually choose to to drop it down. You know, I start going with the dark small bit. I don't know. It's been interesting experimenting with opacity recently. Um, and as as you would have seen on my blog, I've been doing a sketch daily for the last month and a half, and um, I had a suggestion. From someone, uh, they gave me the suggestion uh, to uh, drop, to um, increase my opacity. Here, I'm going in with the darks. Uh, drop my um, opacity. Um, yeah, inc increase my opacity. Sorry. Um, so um, I've been experimenting with, with different types of opacity, and um, also the pen pressure pull. I've never used it. I've only ever used it for um, transparent or open the opaqueness, not for arm size, so it's been a really good experiment. But, uh, it's looking quite pink, the uh, the light, I guess it's, it's actually supposed to be grey, like the colour I've put in is actually grey, but I guess it contrasts and, and shines from the uh, from uh, the background being, being blue. Yeah, that, that's what really is distorted. Try to try to fix it with the tone here. Still, still could have done a better job with it. I reckon. Still not, not, not decent enough. I'm sorry about the sound quality. This, um, I really need to get myself a new, uh, new mic. So I finished that. That was five minutes. Composing ended. I was quite happy with getting it down in five minutes. It's not bad. Here I'm starting the second one. Um, Second one, uh, the pose certainly wasn't as good as uh, the first. The colour was, was very, very heavy contrast. Here I'm putting in, in the white. So um, if you go to the blog, you will see the reference photos that I'm working from this, um, and you'll you'll notice that uh, 
that's very contrast there's really only these lights that I'm putting in in black and they do, it doesn't really distinguish from the background so it's actually pretty difficult what I'm trying to do here but really what I'm focusing on is getting those lights in I think that's really what it's about is looking for those lights and getting those lights in so important taking your time like I'm probably going a bit too too quick with these I like working fast though the other thing you've got to remember these videos are sped up two times um, the first video that I brought out um, on this um, was actually uh, not sped up, this one's sped up. I think it works much better sped up. Two times is alright. Um, one time, I don't know, I just take too long. So two times is good. Um, maybe I'll figure out some point. Speed up areas, slow down areas, could work. Okay, so still going in with, it, with those lights. Um, looking in the area here, bottom there. Um, I'm zoomed in a bit on the on the page, um, so you don't really see the full figure. Um, but that's okay. You're yeah, just getting in that that, that leg. Uh, there it goes. It's a foot. Or if is that a bit of foot than the uh, previous foot? Um, unfortunately, I've kind of run out of room, and I decided not to mess with the uh, scale. Normally I, what I would do is probably either increase the canvas or scale that back. Here I'm going in with the, with the black um, in order to create some, some contrast. Um, I was kind of guessing all this because it really was. It really is all black. Um, with the background there isn't any uh, any room for a kind of Phrase and distinguishing from the background, which is really disappointing actually. I wasn't very happy, but I was quite happy with like the overall figure. I thought it was, it was pretty cool. It was a pretty, pretty amazing pose being like the leg up in the air like this and the arm, how the arms are. I don't know, it was like pretty athletic poses, which are always really cool. Like dancing, eh? Mm. Right click by accident, that happens sometimes with the tablet and just accidentally click it. What have we got now? Still going in for the of it. Trying to find the area. Oh, an orange, yes. Then going for lights with this there. And then some of it, yeah, just going on. And not a new colour, just to, I don't know, make it more interesting. I quite like that orange thing. I know quite often, I've been working with orange quite a bit lately. A black, real contrasting, you know, black, so strong. That, uh, that dark that I put in before, it was, it was more of a grey than a black. Oh, this black really, really contrasting. It's nice, I like it, I like it. Like, art goes well with the orange and the grey, like, Gives it a little bit more. Yeah. Getting just yeah, those highlights, those dark black highlights. The knee, the leg. Bottom of the bottom of the leg, kind of. That's almost getting into negative space there, that I'm creating with the orange. I really like messing around with the colours, seeing what I do. But I could have probably used more colours in this, but uh, I guess with five minutes you're a bit limited. It's almost coming to the end, I've got a couple more seconds left before I end it, so I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I'll bring more out in future.